alaykum. Here is the solution for being happy and successful in your life. Surely from now, we need to ask ourselves if I want to succeed in life and every one of us would love to see success to realize success in lifetime is closely connected to success in the hereafter. Subhanallah, success and the true success in the world is closely connected to your success in the hereafter. When you bothered about what's going to happen to you after you're going to die, you will be able to prepare correctly and live a life of contentment. Unfortunately, many of us, may Allah forgive us and guide us, starting with myself. Many of us consider materialism a source of success. When I can afford this car, this house, this watch, this phone, these accessories, this perfume, these holidays, these clothes, then I succeeded. That is temporary, my brothers and sisters. When your salary is a million dollars, it don't mean that you have succeeded holistically. Rather, that success is very, very limited. It is only a portion, perhaps 5% of what we believe would consider success. Allah's plan is always that to have the world with them and the materialistic world with them are not the necessarily the happiest in fact. They are not amongst the happy ones because happiness and contentment is achieved by primarily by understanding Allah's plan, by understanding you have a, you have to worship Allah alone. You have to build a relationship with one whom you are going back one day helplessly, helplessly. I want to go back to Allah the day. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَأُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَطَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ The day that your wealth and your children not help except the one whom has قَلْبُ salim, a pure, a clean, a healthy heart that is free of sickness, ailment and disease. And what is the ailment? If, you, if anyone has worshipped, or associated partners besides Allah or with Allah, they have faltered. So my brothers and sisters, we have a beautiful month of Ramadan. Let us seek the forgiveness from Allah now. That is how we prepare for Ramadan. Our Prophet Muhammad wasallam, in the month of Shahban, he used to fast a lot, a lot more than other months. It was the run up to Ramadan, the softening. Masha Allah, we entered the masjid on a Friday. We noticed a lot of brothers reading the Quran. Walillahi alhamd. May Allah accept it from us. Your duty into that word, connect yourself with the word of Allah. If you have a very, very successful businessman, a really successful person on earth, and there are many names swing into my mind right now a lot about people who have achieved the millions and billions they have a story about their lives many of us know the part of that story what about allah when allah has told you that you have the most powerful message and that is my word Many of us have not bothered to try looking into the meaning of that word. And for the reason, we sway from the left to right, from right to left, and we are not connected to Allah the way we should be. I promise you, I promise you, if you were to make an effort with the word of Allah, Allah will come closer to you. Allah will get closer to you more than you can ever imagine. The closer you get to the word of Allah, the more doors of contentment and happiness will open for you. And that is a promise. If you have problems on earth, if you have difficulties with your health, with your wealth, with your social life, with your financial and economic life, pick up the Quran and start becoming close to Allah. When you show dedication, you will notice the calmness in your heart in your mind, in your system, and you will become happy with what Allah has appointed for you.
I remember a story about a brother who complained regarding his business having been burned down and one person told him, Get closer to Allah! Three years later, he came back to the person and said, That was the biggest blessing of Allah. The person did not understand at it at the point. But today, he have a business ten times bigger what he had three years ago. Allahu Akbar. I promise you, my brothers and sisters, when you are surrendered to the plan of Allah and you will understand that whatever Allah does, even if we pursue it to be negative, it's not negative. It's actually an opportunity. And it's a positive and it will bring you closer to Allah. That is the reason why we have difficulties in hardship. Because if we did not, we would not have been close to Allah. Many of our, many of us, we are far from Allah. When we are in days of ease, nothing wrong. The minute something happens and there is a problem, we say, Oh Allah, for the first time in your life, you are saying, Oh Allah, where was that? Where was that all the time? Allah says, We love you enough to give you a problem, to be able to make you realize and understand you have a creator. So you raised your hands. So you said, Oh Allah. So you came close to us even if you lost your entire life. The fact that you came close to us, it was actually a bargain. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. May Allah guide us. The whole point that I was trying to tell you through this speech is that be closer to Allah. Then your life will be happy and successful. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And smash that like button if you like my video. Please share with your family and friends. Love you darlings. Bye. Assalamu alaikum.